competing at the top level is is, is more like it's more mental like you don't you don't understand some of some of y'all don't understand it because you you guys don't like think when you play so it's just pressing the same buttons over and over again hello panda youtube welcome to today's video you guys watch summit i know you did it was cool right I know, I was there, but I just got home and I had to see some of it again. Uh, in case you guys don't know, Tweak actually ended up winning this past Summit, uh, went all Diddy. Looked a little shaky on day one, but by the end of it, he looked very strong. So we're gonna see what he did to get that far. Bro, I knew, I knew, I knew, I called it. From the moment I played Tweak's f***ing Diddy. Like, I, 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 I was like, bro, Tweak's Diddy is like the hardest thing that I've fought. That I've ever, that I've ever fought. Is fought a word? I don't think it is. That I've ever fought. But yeah, I don't know. So, like, something about Tweak using this damn character. And again, look, this is my, this is the perfect example. Tweak is the perfect example of use a character that you like. Okay? And guess what, Billy? He won the f***ing tournament. A good combo here by by Leo. That was actually very clean. And again, just enough time to get banana back and just chilling. And oh, it's like oh, I got hit twice by Mithra. Okay, cool. I still have banana, which is more important than getting hit twice. Although overall, everyone was parrying quite well. Okay, that's another time. That's literally the only other time that, in the, at the very least, so far that Tweak tried to do something too early. Which I, that, I don't know if that shield poked or not. I think it might have just shield poked. That's not really his fault. I mean, obviously you can like tilt your shield up and then down, but still. But even with all that, he's still winning. Like, it's okay to get hit sometimes as long as you're not getting hit every time. And like, he knows like, oh, I got shield poked. Oh, this is weird stuff is happening. Like, that's fine. I feel like he gets nothing off Pyra. You see the way that Tweak disengages the second Pyra is in play? Like, the second she's out, and I think this is what people are gonna start doing against Pyra, the second he goes Pyra, watch what he does. He shields the attacks, and he just like, stays at the mid range because he can react to this uh, right uh, Joker and you can Pyra, react to yeah. that Pyra and you just you can push up on her while still shielding as long as you don't jump and then he jumps more monkey flips i think that's the okay, first hit by pyro by the way I promise for another monkey flip the fact that that covers so much is unfair look at where he is when he initiates initiates this he's like outside the pokeball why is this a, a, it's, it's legitimately a third of the stage. Command grab. That's nonsense. That's illegal. Bro, Tweak is so, like, Tweak is so hard to kill, man. Tweak's so hard to hit. The way he just stand under you with the damn banana. Is Tweak the best in the world right now? I mean, it's hard to say. Like, it's just, it's been, it's been one invitational, not even tournament. Like, this, this doesn't, like, this doesn't count to be. Like, this is different than a, like a, like a major to be. Because majors, it's a buildup. It's a, it's a build up, you know? Whereas here, it's just top player round one, you know? It's a different kind of, it's a different experience. This is just mad safe. Because I think he could have popped. That's up smash. That might be up smash. I think it scoops. Okay. Either way, one of those is a kill. If you flip a coin twice, it's going to be heads one of the times. That's simple math, you know? That's just probability. He definitely could have killed, but right, I guess it doesn't matter. He just doesn't want him to pop out because that's been happening. And again, here, even though it didn't work because Leo didn't cross him up, like, Tweak is still doing the right thing where it's like, this was super ambiguous. Like, I probably would have guessed in this situation because the movement of forward, I would probably guess cross up and Tweak did too and we were both wrong. So, like, that's fair. But also, again, same concept of just... I'm, you know, doing the correct punishes. I'm not freaking out. I'm making sure I have my out of shield options, and blah, 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 blah. And again, finally just, Leo's only been doing landing aerials. So for the first time in a long time, I feel like Tweak actually just attacked him in the air. Again, I also would have guessed crossed up there, so that's not his fault. And again, just knowing, look, I can just hold it. I can just hold shield. I can just force the grab mix up and just chilling. But like overall, just playing so disciplined. Tweak's play, that's like the best word to describe it. It was so disciplined. I wonder why it took this long to realize that that Diddy is like good, you know? Like I feel like everybody slept on Diddy because he wasn't brain dead fart ass easy compared to Smash 4, you know? But I I think this character is 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 pretty nasty, you know? Dude, he's just he's the Pyra is doing nothing. The Pyra is not participating. He's at 94. Okay, when does he get it? So it's 310. At 307, Pyra does 12 damage. 
something now. Until there. Switches back to Mithra and does a forward air 40 seconds later. Man, that's 40 seconds of nothing. You feel like Leia would have won the Joker? No. I think Tweet is just playing too well. Well, like, it would have been easier because things like fair and back air are safe on shield, even on banana, if they're not, like, right up close. It picks up banana, which is super important for Leo, but again, just gets stuffed out of the air, doesn't recognize that he has to double jump, because here you, like, have to double jump away. Yeah. Earlier on in the day, Tweak went up 3-0 on Leo in their winner's set. Um, it looked like Leo was getting a download. It looked like Leo was probably going to rally back and win. And actually, if it went to game four, he might have. Sincerely, he might have been able to win the whole thing because Leo's very good at that. But in the final stock of game three, uh, Tweak had like a miracle stock. He had an insane comeback. For this to happen again, for Tweak to be on the verge of another 3 0 was kind of a big deal. Tweak kind of recognized here that Leo didn't want to air dodge or like didn't want to like super just retreat and try to land on platform because he would have gotten banana forward smash, which was really good. Um, so he tries to go for the no air dodge read on that back air, but Leo air dodged just differently. Didn't have banana, so couldn't get the punish, but either way, it was like still kind of ready. Nice beer versus banana. It's there. Leo has it. Oh, the little snipes. I'll see you with the little. Oh, the little snipes. Okay. You hit him with that foot. Okay. Hit him with the fucking monkey fist. And again, Leo not seeming yeah, his normal self. Leo doesn't drop these. That's a down air. That's an easy up air. You just follow through, but instead he does back air. I think he he probably just tried to reverse it. Yeah, that's probably what that was. It's probably a mix-up. Instead of go for up air, which Tweak could DI, he probably tried to reverse back air. It's funny, because I think a lot of people watch this set through Tweak's perspective, because, you know, Leo's the number one player. Will he beat him? Whatever. But looking at this through Leo's perspective is, like, it's frustrating, you know? Feels like he has some kill setups and some stuff he could be doing, but he's just not doing it. Dude, that was such good spacing. Watch this. So you do you do up air, and you're perfectly spaced, dude. That's so good. Leo is so good. Good lord. It's good to see that, too, because Leo looks a little unfamiliar with this character. Like, he's getting his legs. You know what I mean? But some stuff like that shows you how far fundamentals go. Back throw for position. Didn't want to get banana because he realized he kind of didn't do it immediately by accident. And I was like, actually, I'll just run forward, and Leo wasn't ready. And again, just F tilting to try to catch the two frame if it didn't, uh, if it could snap, but it couldn't. So there's enough time because someone actually punished the fact that if you have to do the second shot as Mithra, you can't grab the ledge, so you can just hit it for free. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot of people who popped off at this, like because, like, hey, I'm not even gonna lie. I I I haven't seen half these people play before. <laughs> I've never seen Spargo play besides what I played him. I haven't seen. Uh, Zach Ray really play that much. I haven't seen. I haven't seen Ken play in this game because I, I I don't watch Smash that much. So like watching them, I'm like damn, like Spargo. I was like damn, Spargo was clean. I wasn't expecting that from him. Not to, not that I was sleeping on him. I was just like wow. Ah wow. Uh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Was Could he have sealed it? That's too far. Damn, for players to know in the moment? It's like a professional baseball player seeing a 100-mile fastball and knowing if he should swing or not. Dude. Oh my god, that was brilliant, bro. He dared you. Well done, Tweet. But it really is fascinating to look at the landscape of what these two, where these two are currently. Because Tweak is fully dialed into Diddy. Obviously, his other characters can pull out. But Diddy is fully dialed in. Leo is on Pirate Mithra, but I don't know how much he's committing to it. I feel like it's a long play. Like, he doesn't really feel... They're not especially strong right now, but give it like six months and they're going to be super powerful. Because it's Leo. Right. So, I feel like he has to warm them up in tournament. Has to get them ready. And, I mean, Riptide is happening in a week. So maybe he's just gearing up for that. I think the most irritating thing is when people say somebody's washed. Like, Wizzy, Wizzy's not washed. See, what happens, what happens for the people who think Wizzy got, is washed? Competing at the top level is, is is more, like, it's more mental. Like, you don't, you don't understand, some of, some of y'all don't understand it because you, you guys don't, like, think when you play. So it's just pressing the same buttons over and over again. But like for 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 the top players, it's like a, there's a lot of the mental aspect because everybody at the top level is like 
relatively on the same like skill level it's just a matter of how their mental is like how they're how much they want it you know stuff like that you know diddy is just amazing at keeping you in that corner like even if he's not killing you and he gets away with so much watch this he's at 126 he's here at the ledge he can ledge jump double jump side b peanut back now obviously you could just up air this if you're layo right and in fact why don't you I feel like Diddy Flips got blown up way more in past games. Maybe it's just because Diddy is so much rarer. But I feel like we're gonna, there's going to come a time where Leo's going to eat that alive. Might happen at Riptide. I don't know. This seems very risky to do at 126. And again, same thing. He's jumping, not swinging early. He's not respecting the air to airs, and he's not even trying to. He's just full hopping and doing nothing. See, like, Tweak's just running all over him. Like, Diddy, of course, has really good aerials for just, like, stuffing you out, like, forward air and back air. Because, like, Pyra, you can't really do rising aerials because they're super slow and laggy. So Mithra is going to be the character that does that more. Because she has, like, full hop and air and stuff. And Banana Pop Smash, like, just playing so well. Because, again, he shielded the Nair. The Nair didn't even hit him, but he would have shielded it and punished it correctly anyway. How good do y'all think Diddy is? Give me a give me a number. How good do y'all think Diddy is? Because I don't know. I don't know. Tweak make the character seem like a damn top 10. But I don't think it's top 10. I don't know where I think Diddy is, to be honest with you. Also, I think Aegis might be the best character in the game. I think Aegis is top two for free. Yeah, he, he went above again. He went above again. This is like the third time he went above the ledge. He's just not confident in going lower, I guess. He just keeps getting him at the ledge over and over. Maybe that's just unfamiliarity with the character, but I don't know. With that tweak one and the whole story, so much of the story is just played at the ledges, dude. Um, he just hits in shield or hides in shield with banana shielding waiting for you to do something and then he just punishes you this is a really exciting time when you go back and watch this i, I think we are sort of unfairly um looking at it a lot through tweak's perspective he was the guy who would lose these typically but leo i don't know not looking quite as strong as we normally see him and not just from like a fact that he lost but like just the conversions weren't there missed some easy aerials that he should have hit um, really small things, but they add up when you are, you know, playing for this amount of money. And I'm excited for Riptide, man. I want to see Leo come back stronger. I want to see Leo watch these and figure out what to do. Uh, Leo is, has got an incredible mind for the game. And I think this is just the kickstart for what is going to be an insane, uh, rest of the year. But I want to see Leo reclaim his spot because I think that he can. And the fact that he beats Spargo says that because Spargo, I thought, was on track to win the tournament. Spargo was so good. But in terms of Tweak, man, that's, he's here. He's found it. He's figured it out. He has his character. He's, uh, he's got his mindset. I think he's in a really good spot. So we'll see how long he can hold on to that number one title because next week is Riptide and anything can happen.